in Passover. And so on this special Shabbat, the Shabbat during the festival season, we are storytellers and we recall that once we were slaves and now we are free. It is during this Shabbat that we hold close our sacred narrative. We remember our history of yearning and we remember our destination of promise. Just a few things about this uh, virtual uh, venue. You've probably heard me share these uh, a few times now. If you'd like to follow along in the Sidur, you can do so online. Um, the link is on the Facebook page. So you have to go ahead 18 pages if you're, uh, if you're looking for the pages that I, um, that I give um, in order to, uh, to, to find them with the, uh, with the icon. And also this isn't intended to be a performance, so I do hope that you will pray right along with us. And yesterday I experimented, I'll be doing so again with asking questions. I invite you to write the answers to these questions in the comment box on Facebook. So then as a community, we can revel in your responses and truly send our prayers and blessing your way. And so seeing as it is Passover and seeing as once we were slaves, let us begin with the words of Avadim Hayinu, once we were slaves, now we are free. Avadim Hayinu Hayinu Ata b'nei chorim, b'nei chorim, avadim hainu. Ata, ata b'nei chorim, avadim hainu. Ata, ata b'nei chorim, b'nei chorim, avadim hainu, hainu. Ata b'nei chorim, b'nei chorim. And as we begin in the morning, we turn to the words of Ma Tovu. It's page 192. If you're on the physical Sidur, if you're on the virtual Sidur, it's page 210. And the words of Ma Tovu serve as a question. What is Tov? What is good? And I have the opportunity as I leave services today actually to be looking out my window to hear the birds chirping, to see the beautiful sky, to be presented with this image of spring. There truly is tov in the world, even as we have so much struggle. I invite you in the comment box to make note, what is the tov, what is the good that you are celebrating on this Shabbat morning? Let's continue with the words of Matovu. Matovu, Matovu, O Halecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael, Ma Tovu, Ma Tovu, O Alecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael, Vani Berov Chastecha, Ahavo Veitecha, Eshtacha Vemecha Lakotecha, Behiratecha Adonai Ahavti Me'on Betecha Umekom Mishkan Kevotecha Mishkan Kvodecha Vani Eshtacha Bevecha Evrecha Lifne Adonai Oh, si matovu, matovu, oh alecha Yaakov, mishkenotecha Yisrael, matovu, matovu, oh alecha Yaakov, Mishkenotecha Yisrael Vani tefilati lecha Adonai et ratzon Elohim berov chastecha Elohim berov chastecha 
page 195. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe. With divine wisdom, you have made our bodies, combining veins and arteries and vital organs into a finely balanced network. Wondrous maker and sustainer of life, were one of them to fail, how well we are aware. We would lack the strength to stand before you. Blessed are you, Adonai, source of our health and strength. Baruch atah Adonai, basar, umafli, Ma'asot. On the next page, we have the words Elohai Neshama, which is traditionally our wake-up call. It's at this early hour that our soul might still be asleep. And so we say, wake up, let us be ready for the day. Elohai Neshama. Elohai, Elohai, Neshama. Neshama, shena tata bi, shena tata bi, tehorahi, tehorahi. Again, Elohai, Elohai, Neshama, Neshama. So it's in these times where we're feeling trapped, when we're in our own Mitzrayim of, uh, of sorts, that it is especially at this time that we open our eyes to the Nisim Bechol Yom, to our daily miracles. Yes, even now there are daily miracles that we are witness to. And our everyday prayer serves to open our eyes to take note. We're on page 198. We'll continue on the even pages, and we'll even have the benefit of seeing the words right before our eyes. Baruch Eloheinu Melech HaOlam אשר מתן לסך בבינה, להבחין בין יום ובין לילה. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, פוקח עבריים. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, מתיר אסורים. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, זוקף כפופים. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, רוקע הארץ על המים. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, המכין מצעדי גבר. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, מלביש ערומים. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, הנותן ליעף כוח. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, המעביר שינה מעיניי וטומאה מעפעפיי. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, שעשני בצלם אלוהים. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, שעשני בתחורים. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, שעשני ישראל. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, עוזר ישראל בגבורה. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, עוטר ישראל בתפארה. 
And let's read on the opposite page in the English. I am a Jew because the faith of Israel demands no abdication of my mind. I am a Jew because the faith of Israel requires all the devotion of my heart. I am a Jew because in every place where suffering weeps, the Jew weeps. I am a Jew because in every time when despair cries out, the Jew hopes. I am a Jew because the world of Israel is the oldest and the newest. I am a Jew because Israel's promise is the universal promise. I am a Jew because for Israel the world is not completed, we are completing it. I am a Jew because for Israel humanity is not created, we are creating it. I am a Jew because Israel places humanity and its unity above the nations and above Israel itself. I am a Jew because above humanity, image of the divine unity, Israel places the unity which is divine. Let us unite our voices, and our task is to not unite our voices with words, with songs of praise. We're on Hallelujah, page 218, or on the online version, page 236. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We continue with the Chetzi Kaddish and we rise. We're on page 224. It could all be Our next words that we continue, the words of the Yotzer HaMeorot, they focus on creation and they also focus us on hope. And so I invite us to share in the comment box on uh, Facebook Live, what are you hoping for on this Shabbat? 
and I'll continue as I read these precious words. In the beginning, even then, a new light was sown for the righteous, a promise that your light would become the catalyst first for order and then for hope. Author of language and light, help us to use words as you have to cast light into dark waters and draw out justice and truth. Baruch Ata Adonai, Yotzer HaMeorot. How deeply you have loved us, Adonai our God, gracing us with surpassing compassion on account of our forebears whose trust led you to teach them the laws of life. Be gracious to us, teaching us as well. O merciful one, have mercy on us by making us able to understand and discern, to heed, learn, and teach, and lovingly to observe, perform, and fulfill all that is in your Torah. So the words of the Shema are the core words of our people. We listen. And it is at the Passover season that we attune our ears to listening to the cries. We hear the cries of our neighbors. We hear the cries of our loved ones. And yes, we hear our own cries. And how is it that we respond as we listen, as we shma? We respond with faith. We respond with courage, with bravery, with love. We know that we are unbeatable. We know that we will rise to meet the challenges before us. And so I invite you to rise as we continue with the words of Shema. We're on page 232 in the physical Sidur and 250 in the virtual Sidur. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kivod Malchuto Le'olam Adonai <laughs> Bain Einecha Uchtav Tam Al Mizuzot Beitecha Uvisharecha Leman Tis 
ויאמר אדוני אל משה לאמור, דבר אל בני ישראל, ואמרת עליהם, ועשו להם ציצית, על כנפי בגדיהם לדורותם, ונתנו על ציצית הכנף פתיל תכלת, והיה לכם לציצית, וראיתם אותו, וזכרתם את כל מצוות אדוני, ועשיתם אותם, ולא תטורו אחרי לבביכם, ואחרי עיניכם, אשר אתם זונים אחריהם. למען תזכרו, ועשיתם את כל מצוותי, ביתם קדושים לאלוהיכם. אני אדוני אלוהיכם, אשר הוצאתי אתכם, מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים, אני אדוני אלוהיכם. אמת. There is no place where you are not, even in the wilderness, there is your word. אמת, the pen strokes of lightning, white fire, black flame, stir the soul's passions, guide our sacred way. True and enduring is Torah. Your truth for us is certain and established now and forevermore. Like Moses, Miriam, and all of Israel, we sing out and we rejoice. Let us join in the song of our people, the song of crossing the sea of reeds. We follow in the foot of the Israelites with Micha Mocha. We're on page 240. Micha Mocha Ba'eli Adonai Mika Mocha Nedar Ba'kodesh Nora Tehilot Osef Ele Shira Chadasha Shibachu Gilim Nishimcha על שפת הים, יחד כולם הודו, והמליכו ואמרו, אדוני ימלוך לעולם ועד. In a moment we'll rise, and as we do so, we'll follow in the footsteps of our biblical ancestors. And we'll think of each of the heroes, each of the leaders of our people who lead us in the past, present, today, even the future. We follow in their footsteps as we rise up. I'm going to ask, just like I asked yesterday, if you're comfortable to maybe list the names of the hero that you are thinking of this time, who inspires you. And if, as we look to these heroes, as we remind ourselves how heroic that we can be, that we stand up. Let us share the names of these remarkable people in the comment box of, uh, of the Facebook site. And let us stand for these words of affirmation. <laughs> Yada na 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 ufi yagi, ufi yagi tehilatecha. Yada na 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 Adonai, yada na 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 sfatai tiftach. Yada na 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 ufi yagi, Thank you. 
לעולם, לעולם ועד, לדור ודור, לדור ודור, לדור ודור נגיד כעוד לך, לדור ודור, לדור ודור. לדוב אדון הגיגוד לך. ולנצח נתחים, ולנצח נתחים, קדושתך, קדושתך, נעתיש. ולנצח נתחים, ולנצח נתחים, קדושתך, קדושתך, נקדיש. And we turn in our Sidurim to page 250, or the online version, 268, as we continue with the Veshamru. And if you're standing, please feel free to be seated. Veshamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat l'asot et ha-Shabbat l'edotam berit olam they knew they made a soil, oh, he the lum, oh, he the lum, oh, he the whole lum. The shamro, the nay soil, et ha shabbat, la so tet ha shabbat, le dotam berito lum. כי ששת ימים עשה אדוני, עשה אדוני את השמיים ואת הארץ, ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת, לעשות את השבת לדורות הברית עולם. וביום השביעי שבת וינפש Shabbat v'yinafash, Shabbat v'yinafash, V'shamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat, L'asot et ha-Shabbat l'dorot ha-berit olam. We turn our prayers to prayers of thanks. We're on page 253. Please join me in the English. We offer thanks, O oh God, for this Shabbat, which unites us in faith and hope. <clears throat> for Shabbat holiness, which inspires sacred living. For Shabbat memories glowing even in darkness. For Shabbat peace born of friendship and love. We offer thanks and blessing, O oh God. Baruch atah Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Ritze Adonai Eloheinu Ve'yam Echa Yisrael U'tefilatam V'yahava T'kabel U'tehil Eratzon תמיד עבודת ישראל, ישראל עמך, אל קרוב לכל קורח בני אל עבדיך וכוננו, שפוך רוחך
And the word for the festival season of Yaleve Avo. Eloheinu velohe avotenu vimotenu Yaleve Avo vizacher zichonenu vizichron kolam cha beit Israel lefanecha le tova, le chenu, le chesed, le rachamim, le chayim, le shalom. Beyom chag hamatzot haze. Zochreinu adonai bo le tova, amen. Ufogdeinu bo li bracha, amen. Vahosienu bo le chayim, amen. Our God and God of our fathers and mothers on this day of Pesach, be mindful of us and all your people Israel, for good, for life, for compassion, for life and peace. Remember us for well-being, amen. Visit us with blessing, amen, and help us to a fuller life, amen. We turn our prayers to prayers for shalom, for peace, for wholeness, we're on page 258 or 276 in the online version as our prayers are directed towards Shalom, Sim Shalom. Sim Shalom, Tova Uvracha, Chen Avachesed Verachamim Verachamim Azeinu, Ve'apol Yisrael, Ve'al Kol Yisrael Anecha, Barcheinu Avinu Kulanu Kechad, Ve'or Banecha. Ki Ve'or Banecha Natata Lanu, Adonai Eloheinu, Sim Shalom, Sim Shalom, Tova Uvracha. Chen Avachesed Verachamim Verachamim Aleinu, Ve'al Kol Yisrael, Ve'al kol Yisrael anecha, Torat chayim ve'ahavat chesed, Ve'ahavat chesed. Utsdaka al-racha ve'rachamim, Ve'chayim ve'shalom, Sim shalom, sim shalom, Tova u'racha. Chen v'achesed v'rachamim v'rachamim aleinu V'al kol Yisrael, v'al kol Yisrael amecha V'tov b'necha levarech et amcha Yisrael V'cholet v'choshav v'shlomecha sim shalom Sim Shalom, Tova Uvracha, Chen Vachesed Verachamim Verachamim Aleinu, Ve'al Kol Yisrael, Ve'al Kol Yisrael Lamecha. So in our crazy world that we currently find ourselves in, I've had the opportunity to see many of you virtually this week either during Torah study or during one of our uh, seders. It's been amazing seeing everybody's faces. As we're a month in, I see many people just like myself who are desperately in need of a haircut. I'm also continuously in awe of the numbers that we're reaching. Um, 1,284 people uh, were able to connect with us this past week on our uh, various programs, which is a number we could never have imagined otherwise. One of my favorite moments was during our kitty Passover experience, where I held up each of the symbols of, of Passover, and I held up the egg. And as we looked at the egg, we were able to reflect on the shape. And I asked, was it a square? Of course, no. And I asked, was it a triangle? Of course, no. I asked, was it a circle? Yes, it's a circle. And the circle of the egg, it represents life. The circle of the egg is shalom. In order to find that circle, in order to aspire for peace, for shalom, we have to make sure that the roundness, that the borders um, are quite whole. I recognize that at this season, they feel vulnerable. And so as we turn away from our screens for a moment, as we reflect on shalom and this closing piece of the Amidah, let us think about our circle that we hold within, and let us make sure that it is perfectly round, that it is perfectly strong, that it is full of blessing.
So a number of people have uh, reflected that it was difficult to find the uh, the energy to commence with our Passover celebrations this week, with everything going on in the world, being confined to our space. And my response was quite consistent, that it is especially in these harder times that we're called to make note of these celebrations, that we're called to be creative with how we celebrate these important days because it is in these moments all the more so that we're called to find joy, to identify the blessing. And so since we are in the week of Passover, this is a time where we offer further praise, where we offer Hallel, where we offer blessing to God. And so we'll continue with a few prayers of Hallel leading into our Torah service. It's on page 560, if you're following along in your, um, in your physical Siddur, or page 578, if you're following on the online Siddur. And I'll begin with the blessing, Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotah V'tivanu Likro Et HaHalel. And the words of Betzet Israel Mimitzrayim, when Israel went forth from Egypt, page 562 in the physical Siddur, page 580 on the online Siddur. Bet Yisrael mi Mitzrayim, Bet Yaakov me Amloes, Haita, Haita Yehuda lekocho, Yisrael mamshelotav, Hayam Rav, Hayanos, Hayarden isov leachor, Betet Yisrael mi Mitzrayim, Bet Yaakov me Amloes. And we continue with Hodu Ladonai Kitov, page 565. Hodu Ladonai Kitov, Ki Leolam Chastu. Yomana Yisrael, ki leodam hasto. Yomru na veidon, ki leodam hasto. Yomru na yirei Adonai, ki leodam hasto. And one more piece of Hallel, one more prayer of praise of Hallelujah. Ana Adonai Hoshiana, we're on page 568. Ana Adonai Hoshiana, Ana Adonai Hoshiana, Ana Adonai Hatzlichana, Ana Adonai Hatzlichana, Baruch. Haba v'shem Adonai berachnu chem mi bet Adonai baruch haba v'shem Adonai berachnu chem mi bet Adonai eliata v'odeha Elohai ahom emecha eliata v'odeha
in order to surround ourselves in blessing, in order to acknowledge the beauty around us, first we open our eyes and then we walk through those gates. I'll close the Hallel as I read these words. Open the gates of righteousness for me that I may enter them and praise the eternal. This is the gateway to the eternal. The righteous shall enter through it. I praise you for you have answered me and have become my deliverance. It's crazy to reflect back um, even just this past month. And it was the last time that we were gathered as a physical community in our sanctuary that we had the opportunity to honor a new rabbi, to honor the ordination of Rabbi Dara Litwick. And I'm so glad that we had that opportunity to do so physically. And now virtually we have the opportunity to learn with her as she takes the lead in our Torah service um, on the special Passover morning. And so I invite uh, Rabbi Litwick to, uh, to come forward virtually and to share with us her Torah. Uh, Shabbat Shalom, Rabbi. Shabbat Shalom. Uh, wonderful community from, from our home to your homes. It is wonderful to be here uh, together, connected in the midst of this physical time of physical distancing. So today's Torah reading that we are doing, we're going to be led beautifully by Stuart Lazar, Shlomo ben Aharon Vechana. The reading that we are doing today uh, is from Exodus chapter 13, verses 1 through 10. It's from Parsha Bo, and it tells about um, Passover. It's, it's at the edge of when the Israelites are about to leave Egypt and are being told that this is going to be uh, a sacred time, a holy time, a meaningful time, a transition time from slavery to freedom. And we find it, you could find it in, if you have, uh, the old uh, blue plout on page 469, or it's on page 415 in the newer black plout, or you could just listen. You could also follow it online in many uh, different sources as well. So as we're starting, though, the Torah service, we're not able to have a Torah scroll uh, physically in front of us, so we're not doing the physical hakafa or um, the blessings in that sense for Aliyot, but we're still going to do, we're still engaging in a, in a huge mitzvah of studying Torah together. So let us say, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kichanu B'mitzvotav, V'tzivanu La'asok B'divrei Torah, the blessing for Torah study, let us engage in Torah study together, and without further ado, I virtually hand it off to Shlomo Ben Aharon Vechana for our Torah reading. Amen. By the bear Adonai El Moshe Lemor, Kadesh li kol bechor peter kol rechem bivne Yisrael ba Adam uvab hema li hu. Vayomer Moshe El Ha'am, Zachor et hayom haze asher yetzatem im Yitzrayim, mi beit avadim, ki bechozek yad hotzi Adonai etchem mizer, velo yeachel chamitz. היום אתם יוצאים בחודש האביב, והיה כי יביאך אדוני אל ארץ הכנעני, והחיתי, והמרי, והחיבי, והיבוסי, אשר נשבע לאבותיך לתת לך ארץ זבת חלב ודבש, ועבדת את העבודה הזאת בחודש הזה. שבעת ימים תאכל מצות, וביום השביעי חג לאדוני. מצות יאכל את שבעת הימים, ולא יראה לך חמץ, ולא יראה לך שעור בכל גבוליך. והגדת לבנך ביום ההוא לאמור, בעבור זה עשה אדוני לי בצאתי ממצרים. והיה לך לאות על יד, ידך, ולזיכרון בין עיניך, לאמן תהיה תורת אדוני בפיך, כי ביד חזקה הוציאך אדוני ממצרים. ושמרת את החוקה הזאת למודה מימים ימימה. Thank you for that. That was beautiful. Um, and it ends on this note that you, we are to remember this exodus. It serves as a sign on our hand, as a reminder on our forehead. Think about tefillin. 
um, in order that this teaching may always be near and dear to us and that we should keep this institution at this set time from year to year. So I'd like to just give a brief Misha Berach for Stuart uh, for this reading. Um, may our ancestors, Avotenu Vimotenu, Avraham, Yitzchak, Ve'yaakov, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Ve'leya, Yevarech, Et, Shlomo, Ben Aharon, Ve'chana, um, for doing this beautiful uh, Torah reading and sharing virtually with our uh, community. Um, and may you merit from the Holy One of Blessing protest, protection, rescue from any distress and any illness, blessing and success in every endeavor. And let us say amen. And let us take this opportunity too to do a communal blessing for healing together. Um, you could find it on either um, page uh, 371 or 389 um, of uh, the Mishkan Tfila, if you have it with you. And again, if you don't, you know this well. We're going to do the Debbie Friedman uh, Misha Berach. Um, and and I will I will just lead it now. Misha Berach Avotenu Mekor Habracha Leimotenu May the source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Mishaberach imotenu mekor habracha Le'avoteinu, bless those in need of healing with refuah shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say amen. And there are so many in need of healing right now, of body and of spirit and for all of the healing that we all need and that our world right need, needs right now, let us say, Amen. I want to turn now to our Haftarah portion. And the Haftarah for Chol HaMoed Pesach is from Ezekiel uh, 37, uh, chapter, uh, verses 1 to 14. You could find it in the black cloud on page 1465, but you don't need to. I will take you through it, no worries. Um, and it contains one of the prophet's most famous visions of the Valley of the Bones. It contains striking images of Israel's literal revival and restoration, which makes sense given that Ezekiel was a prophet during the Babylonian exile. As the Plough commentary suggests, the Haftarah connects to the holiday of Passover with respect to the theme of deliverance. While Pesach celebrates deliverance from slavery, Ezekiel's vision speaks to a future deliverance from exile in Babylonia with incredibly meaning, meaningful parallels to today. In this Haftarah, the prophet Ezekiel, known for his mystical visions, paints a picture of a valley full of very, very, very dry bones spread all across the valley. God has brought, had brought Ezekiel there and tells him to say to the bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. I will put muscle on you and cover you with flesh and spread skin over you. I will put breath into you and you shall live. There's a repetition there. Then you shall know that I am the eternal. So Ezekiel then prophesied as he had been commanded. And as he prophesied, there was a loud noise, and the bones came together, tikrivu, a bone to matching bone. Hmm. Sounds familiar, eh? Fast forward some 2,500 years after the setting of Ezekiel's prophecy, and his vision of restoration became a popular sermon topic for Black ministers particularly in the southern states of the United States. The Valley of the Bones metaphor of bones restored to life 
made for a meaningful metaphor for people living under Jim Crow, as of course did the story of Exodus itself, Let My People Go. While the bones coming together is only the focus of one verse that I'd read in Ezekiel's vision, ministers would riff off of that, drawing out to the image. Listen, on the day of resurrection, the leg bone will be connected to the thigh bone. The arm bone will be connected to the elbow bone. The backbone will be connected to the neck bone. Over the course of the 1920s and 30s, sermons riffing on the valley of the bone spread and were often set to music with all sorts of variations. And James Weldon Johnson and his brother, James Rosman Johnson, have been credited with the most well-known melody that we are still familiar with today. And in the 1940s, the Delta Rhythm Boys developed the version of the spiritual that most of us are familiar with today, Dem Bones, also called Dry Bones or Dem Dry Bones. They introduced the song's major hook, the use of half step increases for each bone connection and half step decreases with each bone unlinked. Ezekiel connected them, dry bones, Ezekiel connected them, dry bones, Ezekiel in the valley of dry bones. Now hear the word of the Lord. The toe bone connected to the foot bone, the foot bone connected to the heel bone, the heel bone connected to the ankle bone, the ankle bone connected to the shin bone, the shin bone connected to the knee bone, the knee bone connected to the thigh bone, the thigh bone connected to the hip bone, the hip bone connected to the back bone, and so on. I can't go even higher. All the way to the head bone. Now hear the word of the Lord. Them bones are going to walk around. Now hear the word of the Lord. It got people up and it got people going, and it served as a means of renewal and revitalization in a time of oppression, in a time of lack. Now, going back to the text of Ezekiel itself, setting the song aside, as Ezekiel saw the bones coming together and the bones covered by muscle and sinew and flesh from above, he looked around. Something essential was missing. The figures had no ruach, no soul breath, ruach being one of those amazing words that, that connotes both soul and breath and wind, as well as wind. God said to Ezekiel, Ben Adam, mere mortal, prophecy to the Ruach and say to the Ruach that thus says Adonai HaElohim, Bowie, come Ruach from the four directions and breathe into these slain bodies so that they may live. And Ezekiel prophesied as he was told, and the Ruach went into the bodies and they came to life and stood on their feet like a great army. And here is the core of the story. God then said to Ezekiel, Ben Adam, mortal, these bones are not just bones, they are the whole of the house of Israel. Remember, they were exiled in Babylonia. They say, Our bones have dried up, our hope is lost. Abdatik Vatenu. And think about that there. That's the language we, it, we say in Hatikva, Israel's national, national anthem. We say, Lo Abdatik Vatenu. We haven't lost hope. But these bones are crying out saying, Abda Tikvatena, we've lost hope. The people in Babylonia, we've lost hope. We are cut off from life. God continues to tell Ezekiel, prophecy then to them and say, Thus says Adonai Elohim, I am going to open you up from your graves, your confined spaces, my people, Ami, which is a very uh, sense of warmth and belonging. I will lift you out of your graves and bring you home to the land of Israel. And when I have done so, my people, you will know that I am yod heh vav -Hey. You will know that I am Adonai. I will put my ruach into you, and you shall live, and I will place you in my own land. Then, said God, you will know that I, yod heh vav -Hey, have spoken and acted. Wow. Our sages teach us that whatever is going on in our lives, we can look to Torah and we can find something there of meaning, of comfort, of hope. Ezekiel's extraordinary vision of the Valley of the Dry Bones carries, for me, extra meaning during this pandemic. Suffering exists, and there is much suffering happening in the world right now. It would be fair to lose hope, to lose faith. 
especially if we are personally touched by suffering or by job loss or just overwhelmed with stress. Many of us can feel exiled right now, exiled from our usual traditions, our habits, exiled from our extended families, exiled from our communities, confined to little boxes. Trying to balance work and kids and the weird vibes of physical distancing and concern, for example, about my, my mom who works in a hospital in Montreal and my partner working around the clock to get us through this. I sometimes feel like dry bone covered, um, well, not so much muscle because I haven't been moving as much, but maybe something a little more soft um, and skin, but lacking ruach, soul force, life force. But then I, I take a deep breath and I look around and I see bright spots. For example, uh, Rabbi was just talking about the kids Seder and then after that we, we had uh, a great family, albeit chaotic family Seder online on Zoom with my parents and siblings and nieces and nephews. Um, learning and playing with my kids here at home, sharing a meal with my love. I love logging into Kabbalat Shabbat and hearing Larry, and I love logging in Shabbat morning, hearing Sue, and I love connecting. I love how Renit is keeping this all together uh, in the background, and Rabbi Michael Berg, your words of wisdom and grace and prayer leading us through this in your regular check-ins with all of us. And through this, I feel my Ruach returning from the four corners, from family, from community, from creativity, fun, joy. We read about the Valley of the Dry Bones on Passover because we celebrate rebirth of the parts of us that are dead or enslaved, caught in the narrows of Mitzrayim. The vivid images of bones coming together with life force being breathed into them tells us that the narrows aren't it, that what is good in this world can and will be reborn. As I read in an article from some years ago in the Jewish Standard, our God has created a world where renewal is possible. I want to transition from Ezekiel to another part of our Pesach tradition. Um, again, renewal is a central theme, as we are seeing, of Passover. And we see it spring and bits of renewal, even though it's a little bit cold outside around us. Um, the budding of crocuses popping up around our neighborhoods, for example. And so one of the traditions that we have uh, at Pesach, a beautiful tradition, is to read Shir Hashirim, the Song of Songs, which is, if you haven't read it, and I really suggest you do because it's so awesome, um, a sensuous and even, or let's be honest, erotic ode to love that almost did not make it into the biblical canon because it's it's so passionate. Um, so thank goodness it had a very strong defender in the Talmud. Uh, Rabbi Akiva defended it saying, saying that while all the sacred writings are holy, the Song of Songs itself is the holy of holies. The rabbis read it or read it as an ode to the relationship between God and Israel. And it wouldn't be God as the sort of God from on high, but it would be in intimate relationship. Throughout the eight short chapters of Shir Hashirim, the Song of Songs, a young woman and men pursue one another through lush fields and valleys full of flowers and springtime love. The song is alive, it's sensory, sensual, connecting us back to the world of touch and taste and smell, where everything is fertile with possibility, where we can engage in the world as the lovers do in the text able and ready and eager to start life anew. As Rabbi Adam Greenwell notes, and we know this, the most famous line from the song, Ani le dodi ve dodi li, I am my beloved and my beloved is mine. Uh, those are words that are often used uh, in weddings. They're often the words on the lips of couples on their wedding day, standing under the chuppah, anticipating a life of loving partnership. Also now we're touching on spring, we switch at Pesach, we switched uh, you know, a few days ago from the prayer for rain in the Amida to that for dew 
um, which gets also kicked off with a prayer uh, with an emphasis on renewal. And this also helps us remember that during winter, the world's not dead, it's just dormant. Underneath it is all life is ready to spring up, to grow, to shine. So around us, we can see when we take our health walks and runs and our bike rides outside and we breathe in the fresh air, we see the signs of renewed life, the sprouts of green and white and purple and yellow flowers, chayim. If the earth can be revived from dor dormancy, so can we. So will we. One day, we will again be able to be together in person, to play together, to sing together, to pray together. Let us not let go of our joy, our wonder, our passion, our love. Let the Ruach keep us going. Let us believe in our own renewal. In that spirit of renewal, of Ruach, where we're called on here at Pesach to choose life, reach out to each other, take care of each other, to love and live and sing and believe in each other, to not just be some dry bones, but to be enlivened and awakened. Let us close the Haftarah and Torah service with some of the beautiful poetry from Shir Hashirim. And I'm going to read from an amazing translation, um, an amazing study companion also uh, by Hannah Block and Ariel Block. Show it over here. Um, highly, highly recommended uh, reading. And I'll read a little bit from chapter two of the Song of Songs. Kol dodi hineze ba medaleg al heharim, mekafet al hagvaot. The voice of my love, listen, bounding over the mountains toward me across the hills. My love is a gazelle, a wild stag. There he stands on the other side of our wall, gazing between the stones. And he calls to me, hurry, my love, my friend, and come away. Look, winter is over, the rains are done, wild flowers spring up in the fields. Now is the time of the nightingale. In every meadow you hear the song of the turtle dove. The fig tree has sweetened its new green fruit and the young budded vines smell spicy. Hurry, my love, my friend, come away. Dodi li ve'ani lo haro'e bashoshanim. My beloved is mine and I am his. He feasts in a field of lilies. It's just a little taste of the beauty of the Song of Songs. So as we hear in that passion there and that those images of, of spring and of beauty, um, I invite us to sort of take that in and we can then take that upon us and bring that beauty of enlivening our bones, enlivening our souls, using our ruach uh, to help keep getting us through this as we look and reach into spring and take it on upon us with Aleinu. Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach. Wow, Shabbat Shalom to you, Rabbi Lithwick, and thank you for sharing us such important words, and thank you for grounding us in the spring and grounding us in this really essential season of the soul. Um, I'm indebted to you for, for sharing your Torah with your community, with our community, with the care and passion that you do with everything. Let's continue as we join with a prayer for our country. If we're following along in our Sidurim, we're on page 376. O oh, guardian of life and liberty, may our nation always merit your protection. Teach us to give thanks for what we have by sharing it with those who are in need. Keep our eyes open to the wonders of creation and alert to the care of the earth. May we never be lazy in the work of peace. May we honor those who have died in defense of our ideals. Grant our leaders wisdom and forbearance. May they govern with wisdom and justice and compassion. Help us all to appreciate one another and to respect the many ways that we may serve you. May our homes be safe from affliction and strife and our country be sound in body and spirit. And let us say, Amen. And I was reminded of the great wisdom of the great creativity coming out of the land of Israel. They too are suffering under this plight of COVID. It was on Passover on the Seder night 
that from a place of a confinement, uh, being in lockdown in their homes and apartments, many people emerge to their balconies to sing the beautiful words of Manish Tana and to do so as a whole people. There are videos online that you can find of this beautiful time, it's evening darkness and yet light emerging uh, both physically and spiritually, acknowledging that yes, this night is unlike any other night, but yes, we will emerge with the same strength and courage that we consistently do. And so we direct our prayers to the land of Israel. O heavenly one, protector and redeemer of Israel, bless the state of Israel, which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Shielded beneath the wings of your love, spread over the canopy of your peace, send your light and truth to all who lead and advise, guiding them with your good counsel, establish peace in the land and fullness of joy for all who dwell there. And let us say, Amen. Let us turn to page 586 in the physical Siddur, page 604 in our uh, virtual Siddur, uh, and I believe we'll have it before us as well as we rise for the Aleinu Leshabeach. Aleinu Shabeach Ladon HaKol Latet Gdula Leotzeh Breshit Shelo Asanu Kegoe HaRatzot Velo Asamanu Kemishpachot Adama שלא שם חלקנו כהם, וגור עלינו ככל המונם. ואנחנו קוראים ומשתחווים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא, שהוא נוטה שמיים ועושה הארץ. It's at this time that we turn our prayers to prayers of memory, to prayers of mourning. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed the earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people, whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. I'll begin by recalling the death from this past week, Esther Danino, and Shloshim, Mickey Sheldon, and Henry Schneider. And the art sites that occur at this season, George Grushman, Mildred Korn, Morris Lebowski, Sharon Nicolin, Marianne Vespri, Andrew Weens, Max Ginsburg, Barbara Saburin, Carl Lemovici, Lois Rita McKercher, Sidney Mortimer, Edith Burkell, Eileen Gardner, Doris Gorman, Harley Moon, Francis Packnadel, Russell Albert, and Eric Hammer. And I invite you, if there are people who you are remembering at this time, to share their names in the comment box of the Facebook feed so that we too can honor their memory. And I now ask that the mourners please rise 
And now in our own homes, we as a community join you. Please know that you are not alone as we send our love near and far with these words of Kaddish. They're on page 598, and they're also right before our eyes on our virtual Sidur. Yit kadal v'yit kadash shamei rabba v'alma divra gerute v'yamlich malchute v'hayachon v'yom echon v'chayei d'chol beit Yisrael v'agala v'zman kari v'imru amen Yehei shmei rabba v'vorach le'olam v'omei omaya yit barach v'yishtabach v'yitpoar v'yitromam v'yitnase v'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal shmei d'kudsha v'richu Leila min kol berchata v'shirata, tush b'chata v'nechamata, d'amiram b'alma v'imru, amen. Yehei shlama rabba min shamaya v'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru, amen. Ose shalom min romav, u'ya se shalom aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru, amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and are bereaved among us, and together let us say, amen. So is Margot with us? Let's see. We are just waiting for the uh, president of our congregation to, uh, to join us, to, uh, to share with us announcements. Oh, and she is present. So Margot, I invite you to share with us your words of announcement. Thank you, Rabbi. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. On behalf of the board of directors, I welcome congregants and visitors alike to this virtual Shabbat service. Thank you, Rabbi Michaelberg, for leading the service this morning, and to Sue Potession for your wonderful music and lovely smile in your uh, lay cantering. Our Torah reader was Stuart Lazier, and Rabbi Dara Lithwick provided a wonderful Devar Torah. Thank you, Dara. Ranit Brown, as we have become accustomed, is making it all happen behind the scenes with her technical expertise and good spirits. Please check the temple website or the weekly email uh, on uh, upcoming virtual services and programs, including links and tips for uh, connecting with us electronically. Some are Zoom meetings for which you need uh, to take note of the link and use it. Others are Facebook Live pr uh, productions, such as today, which uh, can be saved and, and uh, viewed later. They're recorded on Facebook. Please visit Temple's Facebook page to like and follow us there so that you'll be kept abreast of things as, uh, as we develop new programs. This week we can look forward on Wednesday at 10.15 to a Facebook Live Passover Yiskar service. Uh, there'll be an online sudur that you can use to follow if you wish, and we hope you'll join us then. This Thursday evening, the Board of Directors is meeting for the first time since the beginning of this crisis at 7 p.m. on a Zoom basis, and I look forward to, to seeing all of them and to their continued support. So Shabbat Shalom, everyone, and Happy Passover. And thank you to you, Margo, and thank you to, uh, to, to Sue and Rabbi Lithwick and to, uh, to Stuart and to Ronit, uh, who each brought uh, this virtual service to life in your own precious way. Um, I look forward to seeing everybody again soon. At first, we'll bring our service to a close with another piece that really speaks to the efforts that we lay to build up our world in this sensitive time. Olam <laughs> Olam chesed ibane, yaladai, dai, dai, yaladai, dai. Olam chesed ibane, yaladai, dai, dai, yaladai, dai. Olam chesed ibane, yaladai, dai, dai, yaladai, dai. I will build. I will build this world from love. Yada dai, 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 yada dai, dai. And you will build. You must build this world from love. Yada dai, 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 yada dai, dai. And if we build, and if 
We build this world from love. Da 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 da. Then God will build, and God will build this world from love. Da 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 da. Back to the beginning. Olam chesed ibane. Da 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 da. Olam chesed ibane. Chag Sameach, everybody, and Shabbat Shalom. Chag Sameach, Shabbat Shalom, and this brings our service to a close. All right, we're not streaming anymore. Okay, okay go team. It says recording still.